Hi everybody, it is Shakti, it is Dr. Rose. I can I answer to both. <laughs> and I'm so great that you guys are here watching this video. Thank you so much for uh, yeah, watching this video. <laughs> so today I'm gonna talk about what can archetypes do for you. So in the video that I posted before, I already explained some things that they can do for you, but I wanna go deeply into that and also provide you with a personal experience of mine, uh, one that you can actually see. I won't say what it is, but anyway, uh, archetypes can truly transform your life. They can change you. They can change whatever circumstance you're going through. I mean, think about it this way. We have, as human beings, have been in, in existence for maybe one and a half million years. The problems that we have are still the same. <laughs> the same problems we had back then. Maybe there were more protection, more... You know, um, you know, big animals are out there or something. Um, um, you know, uh, needing a, a home, uh, needing family uh, to procreate, love, wealth, money. I mean, all of these things we tend to have issues with as human beings. And um, they don't change, even if technology has changed. We have science, we have technology, we have apps and phones and computers. It doesn't mean that we don't have problems in our lives, right? Doesn't mean that they don't make it easier. They make some things easier. Sometimes they prolong our lives or things of that nature. But regardless of what changes, human beings still tend to have the same problems. So archetypes can really change your entire life. Um, they can get into your body. They can transform your health. And what they do is that they transfer their powers to you. When you're chanting a mantra, you're not just chanting and, you know, maybe being in a meditative state and feeling peaceful. That's great. I mean, I'm not saying that that's not happening or that's not important, but you're also inviting a certain frequency, whether it's light or sound, into your life. You're awakening it into your life. You're awakening a being. You're awakening that frequency into your life. And that creates change. So prime example of how that happens, and this is more of a scientific thing. So for those of you who are more scientifically minded and you're looking at archetypes as being sound or, or a light wave, that's great. Um, and sound with particular, in particular, if you've ever seen experiments that, have, that are done where you take like a grainy substance, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's a powder, but it's something kind of grainy, maybe like a little fine rice or something like that. And you put it on a platform and then underneath that platform, there will be a speaker. And the speaker will send off a certain kind of vibration. And what you'll notice is that the grain will actually put itself into a math, I would say a, a certain pattern. And it's kind of like a mathematical pattern, almost like a snowflake, right? If you look at the um, a close up, a microscopic view of a snowflake, um, you see this actual pattern and it's symmetrical and things of that nature. Right? So that's what archetypes are, right? They are sound, they are light frequency. Um, they can come into you and you know change your life. They can change your psychology, the way you think, your thoughts, your mind. Uh, they can change your emotions. Um, they can bring to you any kind of solution to life. This is why I love archetypes. I love seeing them as real. Dr. Palai talks about these are real beings. And if you feel so inclined, treat them as that. And this is why I have an altar, you know, right? If you can see up here, this is an image of Ganesha that's behind me. This is a wall tapestry, I love it. Uh, and then there are yantras here, statues, you know, and I treat them as real beings, you know? I feed them, I provide a light and incense, you know? Um, when you treat them as real, you know, they really show up that way. And they can change your karma too. Those of you who are concerned about your karma, I have bad karma, whatever it is. I have bad relationship karma, bad health karma, bad love karma, bad money karma. You know, everybody's out there looking for money and a job and they're trying to, you know, make it. California is no exception, <laughs> you know. I live in California, so you know, a lot of people are leaving the state because it's just too expensive to be here. A lot of folks who want to stay, but you know, it's too expensive, you know. Um, they need money, they need wealth. So you can, Archetypes can actually change that. So what is a prime example, uh, my example, of how an archetype has changed my life? If you have seen any of my earlier videos, you would see me with my hair pulled back, you know, straightened hair pulled back into a little nub or something like that. Maybe it'll be a little down or something. But 
I didn't really do much with my hair. Okay, and maybe the first couple of videos, I didn't even put any makeup on. <laughs> but as you can see, I, my face is made. And as you can see, I've changed my hairstyle. I have these little locks with the purple color in it that I'm so happy about. And I actually put these in on my own, which I never do. I'm not a hairstylist. I don't, I'm not into hair. I'm not that kind of person. You know, I've always had other people do hair for me because I, you know, I, I wasn't really good at doing that. Although, what's interesting, I had an astrology reading and the astrologer said, you know, you, you were a really good hairdresser in a previous life. I said, well, honey, that's not happening now because whatever that information I knew back then, I certainly don't know it now. <laughs> so anyway, you can see I have made a transformation. You know, I'm really, I'm so excited about hair. You know, I have some other hairstyles I want to do and, and uh, hair coloring I want to do. I'm just like super excited, right? I wasn't a person who likes to do selfies and things of that nature, but now changing my hair and my look, I'm just super excited to do that. So, and what is that a result of? So I've been working uh, or doing what I call midnight goddess meditations. And I've been calling on a particular goddess of, uh, she's a goddess of love and beauty, uh, sensuality. And she's also almost like a Shakti version, like an overall goddess and, and what have you as well. But um, as a result of working with her for the past two and a half months or so, uh, this whole thing, transformation that you see before you is really her influence in my life so I'm so happy anyway <laughs> so you can see this is my testimony um, there have been other you know testimonies of other people that I've uh, that I've heard and I've read uh, as you guys know I'm a, uh, a moderator on Facebook with a with the uh, Poly Center uh, uh, Facebook communities or Facebook groups on, um, for the Polite Center. And we've had lots of testimonies of people who were looking for a job and they chanted a particular m mantra or, and or, uh, you know, kind of awakened an archetype in their life and they found the job of their dreams or they found the home of their dreams or um, they got a new car, you know, um, you know, really material substance or maybe they just feel better, they feel at peace, they feel loved. Uh, some people are finding love, you know, chanting the clean mantra. Uh, clean mantra is associated with a couple of archetypes, but things are really changing, you know. A lot of that changes the inner change, you know, changes on the inside, but then it comes out and changes on the outside as well. So, um, you know, archetypes can do that. They can completely change your life. And that's why I love to talk about them. Um, and I'll provide specific examples of uh, archetypes from different traditions, you know. Um, the one I was t talking about, uh, her, I call her Heteru, that's her ancient Egyptian name. Um, she's known as Hathor, that's her Greek name. And, you know, basically her heyday was during the time of ancient Egypt. <laughs> so, you know, even though uh, you don't have like large uh, uh, temples to Hathor, Heteru, um, she's still alive. You know, destroying a temple does not destroy the goddess. Good point there. Anyway, thank you for listening. And um, for my next video, I'm going to talk about how to communicate with archetypes. Like, what is it that you, what are some essential five key components that you need to have to uh, communicate with an archetype? So thank you so much for listening. Please uh, share this video, like it, please like it, <laughs> and uh, share it. If you, if there's somebody out there who could hear the, who needs this information. Um, and then also subscribe to the channel as well as hit the bell button so that you receive notifications. I do uh, a video a week. So namaste. May you be blessed today and every day.